In this video, I will show you how to connect a third-party domain to Shopify. In my case, I have a domain registered with name silo, and I would like to point the DNS records to Shopify. So uh, the process is as follows. Uh, log in to name silo account, and then um, uh, go to your domain manager, and then look for the domain that you wish to point to Shopify. Then uh, in the domain console, look for DNS records and click update. Uh, then uh, what we're going to do right now is first add the A record. So let's select uh, record type A. The host name, let's add a at sign. And then uh, for IP address, let's add the Shopify's IP address. It's in the manual. So let me just uh, take it from here. In fact, I will leave the link uh, in the video description should you need to refer to it. And uh, let's paste it right here. Uh, it's uh, 23.227.38.65. And for the TTL, we can leave it as is. Now let's go ahead and click Submit. And let's do the same process for the C name. So let's add the C name and host name. Let's add www. And for the target, uh, it's shops.myshopify.com. Just like this. And then uh, TTL record will leave it as is. Uh, so uh, we just added the A record and C name. And usually, in name silo, it might take um, 15 minutes to 48, 48 hours to process. In my case, the first time I tried it, it took about an hour. So uh, wait some time and then uh, log in to uh, Shopify uh, an account, and then go to settings, then look for domains, and then click on connect existing domain. And then let's add the domain name commerce.tv.ca and if uh, DNS changes have been propagated uh, it should connect in a moment let's click verify connection as you can see it hasn't propagated yet so we have to wait some time okay so about 20 minutes passed by so let's try again um, let's click um, connect existing domain commerce.ca next verify connection it should go through this time yep domain has been added and it's set as primary domain so that's pretty much it for more Shopify tutorials please subscribe to my channel thank you